Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Tech Conversations. Firstly, if you haven't already, make sure to check out Lux Algo. Lux Algo is the number one AI agent to help you find strategies powered by some of the best trading indicators and used by over 15,000 traders, including myself. And I've covered many of their premium indicators in the past on my channel. Go ahead and check out those videos. But right now, if you sign up to Lux Algo, by using my link in the description below you can get up to 65 percent off their premium indicators keep in mind you can also get 30 days risk free so why not try them out so go ahead and check out lux algo i'll put a link to them in the description below also make sure to check out the discord completely free to join i'll put a link to it in the description below as well we're at 8,500 members in here so let's get to 10,000 members now let's get right into today's video so today I have some very exciting news for all of you. We have another new feature to share with you guys that was just released by Robinhood. The ability to short sell a stock. So short selling is going to give you the potential to profit when stock prices go down. So you will only want to do this on a stock or security you believe will drop in price. Now, I never thought we would see this on Robinhood, but I'm glad that they continue to add new features. And so today we will talk about what short selling is and how to do it on Robinhood. Keep in mind, this is a rolling release. So if you don't see this short selling feature yet, don't worry, you should eventually get access to it. However, to get access to it, you will need a margin account for this. And remember, to have a margin account, you will need to have a $2,000 portfolio value. So first of all, what is short selling? So short selling is a trading strategy that enables you to sell a stock that you do not own. So you can borrow shares of a stock and then sell them right away. Then if the price of the stock drops, you can buy the stock at the lower price and make a profit. However, if the price of the stock rises, you will incur a loss because you would need to buy the stock at a higher price than what you first sold it at. So if you think a stock's price has peaked and its price could fall, shorting is a way to potentially make money as the stock goes down. So let me give you a quick example. Suppose there's a stock trading at $40 and you think it's overpriced. So again, you can borrow 100 shares. You can sh sell short 100 shares at the price of $40. So you're basically borrowing 100 shares. You're selling them for $40 a share. That means you would get $4,000. Now there's two scenarios. One is favorable and one is not. Let's say the stock falls to $35 a share. This is a favorable scenario. The stock price went down. Why? Because let's say you buy back those 100 shares at $35 a share. That means you would pay $3,500. But remember, you sold them for $4,000. That means you would pocket the difference of $500. You would make $500. Now, the not so good scenario is if the stock price rises. So let's say instead it goes up to $45. Well, if you have to buy 100 shares at $45, you would have to pay $4,500. But remember, you only received $4,000. So that means you would lose $500. So this is how short selling works. So with that being said, let's go over to Robinhood here. And let's use ticker symbol PLUG plug power uh, for today's video. So firstly, you can see here, I can't short sell the stock. Why? Because I am on a cash account. Again, we need to have a margin account. So I'm going to go over to my margin account. This is my margin account right here. So first, let me show you two fields that are new here. If I scroll down. And I look at this key statistics section. There's two new fields here that weren't there before. Short inventory. Okay, so short inventory is going to tell you if a stock is borrowable for shorting. 
So notice here it says available. Let me show you one that says not available, or it's actually gonna say none. So if I quickly go to IRBT, iRobot, and I scroll down, notice here short inventory says none. Okay, so that's one of the new fields here. Let's go back to plug power here. The second field is borrow rate. So notice here it says 7.75%. So Robinhood may charge you fees associated with borrowing stocks as a result of short selling. Let me show you this here. So you can see here, Robinhood may charge you fees. If you have an open short position in your account, whether it is established through short selling, option exercise or assignment, uh, account transfer or otherwise, Robinhood could charge a stock borrow fee. So these fees will fluctuate and change throughout the day and are based on supply and demand dynamics. The fee for each position is calculated as the largest short position held open each day multiplied by the end of day market price, multiplied by the quoted borrow rate divided by 360. So, and you can read more information right here. So that's the second thing you need to keep in mind here, that there could be a, uh, a fee here, right? And you can see this field here. Now, how do you short sell a stock? Let's say we wanted to short sell this stock. So notice over here, this widget that has been there forever, right? Where you can come in to buy shares of a stock. Right here, it says buy plug power. Now, if you ha have access to this feature, notice to the right, there's a short option here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on short here. So here is where we would come in to short the stock here. Now, firstly, look at the warning it gives me here. Short selling begins 7 a.m. Eastern time on trading days. Short selling isn't available overnight, weekends, and when the market is closed. So keep that in mind. You will see this warning right here. And again, notice at the bottom here, right? I mentioned earlier, you need to have a margin account, but also you need to enable margin investing as well. If you haven't done that, it'll give you this warning right here. So you would click on this and you would enable margin investing. You can always turn it off, but you also need to do that to be able to short a stock. Now, after you've done that, it's pretty simple here. First, you would select the order type. I can't even do that here, uh, but there's three different order types. There's market order, which is what you see here. There's limit order and there's stop order types. Then you would select or you would enter here how many shares you want to short. All right, and then here you have the market price. And then notice here you have the estimated credit. So you will see the credit that you will get. You're getting money because you're borrowing shares and you're selling them right away. And keep in mind when you place a short sale, the cash received from the sale is not added to your buying power. It is held aside to be used when the short sale is closed. And then here you will be able to see the estimated daily borrow fee if there is any. So you can see here, borrow fees accrue daily and can change. This fee isn't included in your estimated credit and will be charged at the end of the month. So this is also here. So then you would come in here, you would review your order and you would submit it. To close it, you would buy the shares back. You would place a buy order. Now, two very important things you need to know before you decide to short a stock. Number one, shorting a stock theoretically has an infinite max loss, meaning you could lose an unlimited amount of money because a stock share price theoretically can go up to infinity and it will have a capped max profit since a stock share price can only go down to zero dollars. So let me show you an example here on OptionStrat, and I'll put a link to OptionStrat in the description below. This is a really great options or stocks visualization tool, so you can visualize any trade you want. Here, we're visualizing what it would look like to short plug power. So you can see here, short stock. So notice here, it says we're shorting 100 shares at 232. Let's say we decided to short 100 shares at 232. 
So we'd pay zero dollars, right? Because we're borrowing shares and we're selling them right away. We're not spending any money to enter the trade. Max loss, infinite to the upside. Because again, theoretically, this stock could keep going up and up and up in share price. So you can see here, right? Your 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 losses, your your loss or your profit, depending on what happens with the share price here. We'll get to that. Max profit 232. Again, it's capped because the stock can only fall down to zero dollars. And then we have our break even here. So notice here, right? Again, we can see what our PL might be depending on the share price here. So you want the price of the stock to go down when you're shorting it. If it goes up, you might lose some money. So you could potentially use this tool again to, to visualize here. But with that being said, this is a very risky uh, trading strategy. Right? You should be very aware of what you're doing here because you could incur a huge loss if you don't know what you're doing here when shorting a stock. So please be aware of this. It has an infinite max loss. Because of this, there is a chance that Robinhood might close your position early. So notice here, if we go back to the documentation here on Robinhood, can Robinhood close my short position? Yes, Robinhood can close short positions at any time and without notice. We may close a short position for one or more of the following reasons. So risk of buy-ins, like if a short position was opened, but the shares are no longer available to borrow, Robinhood may be forced to buy in and close an existing short position. Margin closure related reasons like to close a margin call or reduce market risk. So Robinhood could close your short position at any time and without even noticing or giving you a notice. So you need to be very careful here. The last thing I want to mention here is dividends. How do dividends work with short sales? So you need to be very careful of this. Take a look. If you have an open short position on a dividend paying stock, the owner of the shares is still entitled to any dividends paid. So you typically would be required to pay the dividend equivalent to the person or entity that lent you the shares. So keep that in mind if you're going to short stocks with dividends, right? You typically will be required to pay the dividend to the person or entity that lent you the share. So that's a very important. The last thing I want to mention, right, is that you can also short sell from your mobile app as well as from Robinhood Legend. So there you guys have it. This is a new feature introduced. It's not for everybody. It can be extremely dangerous. So please use it carefully if you decide to use it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Check out the Discord, a link to that in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys next time.